Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we're going to be discussing another exciting update regarding the much anticipated Harry Potter TV show set to premiere on HBO. Towards the end of the video, I'll also be getting into some of my thoughts on the show and whether this reboot is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. The show was first announced back in April 2023, when Warner Bros released the following announcement. We are delighted to give audiences the opportunity to discover Hogwarts in a whole new way, says HBO CEO Casey Bloys in a statement. Harry Potter is a cultural phenomenon, and it is clear there is such an enduring love and thirst for the wizarding world. But after this announcement in April of last year, there was radio silence for quite some time. That is, until the beginning of this year, which has seen a few exciting new updates on the show. Let's start with the most recent. During a recent Q4 earnings call for Warner Bros. Discovery, CEO David Zaslav made a number of comments on the show. We've not been shy about our excitement around Harry Potter, Zaslav told analysts, after pointing out that the latest film from Warner Bros. Pictures in the series was produced over a dozen years ago. Zaslav then went on to reveal that the Harry Potter reboot is planned for launch in, drumroll please, 2026, and while this may seem quite distant, at least now we've got some fairly definitive dates to work with. I'd also much rather wait for a quality product than for them to rush things. In this same call, Zaslav also revealed his recent visit to London, where he had fruitful meetings with HBO and Max content boss Casey Bloys, as well as the chairperson of Warner Bros. Television, Channing Dungey. The purpose of these meetings was to discuss the show with JK Rowling. We spent some real time with JK and her team, Zaslav said on the call. Both sides are just thrilled to be reigniting this franchise. Our conversations were great, and we couldn't be more excited about what's ahead. We can't wait to share a decade of new stories with fans around the world on Max. And Dungey, who took part in these meetings, was actually interviewed by Variety last month, where she discussed even more details on the show. We're in conversations with a number of different writers to figure out who's going to be the person to lead that franchise for us, said Dungey who added that rumors speculating that casting is already underway are inaccurate. The first step for us is figuring out who this showrunner is going to be, and once we get that locked down, then we can start having those casting conversations. The tricky part is the first two books, where the kids are on the younger end, around 11 or 12. It was also recently announced that the final decision on who would be chosen as the show's creative leader will be made by June, which is fast approaching. Over the last month, there have been murmurings about who may take on the behemoth that is the Harry Potter TV show, but most of this information is unconfirmed. In an update released January 21st, Deadline revealed that a group of selected writers had finally started pitching their ideas for the show. These writers were tasked with creating pitches based on the beloved books, and those pitches were then presented for the first time in Los Angeles near the beginning of January. Some of the writers initially connected to the project included Michael Leslie, writer of The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Kathleen Jordan, creator of Teenage Bounty Hunters, Martha Hillier from The Last Kingdom, Tom Moran from The Devil's Hour, and Francesca Gardner, a talented writer known for her work on the hit show Succession. Given Succession's massive success and its tie to HBO as a streaming platform, I suspect that Francesca may be one of the frontrunners. With those more recent updates out of the way, Here's what else we know about the show. What is it? The live action series, based on all seven books in the series published between 1997 and 2007, will become a decade long series produced with the same epic craft, love, and care that this global franchise is known for, according to a statement from the newly branded Max. The series will feature a new cast to lead a new generation of fandom, full of the fantastic detail, much loved characters, and dramatic locations that Harry Potter fans have loved for over 25 years. Producers The Harry Potter series will be produced by Bronte Film and TV, the production company chaired by Rowling's agent, Neil Blair, and Warner Bros. Television. J.K. Rowling is expected to serve as the show's executive producer, alongside Bronte's CEO, Ruth Kenley Letts. We also know that Harry Potter producer David Heyman will be involved in some capacity, though to what extent is still unclear. Heyman is best known as the primary producer of all eight installments of the Harry Potter film series, and I think it'd be a shame for him not to be involved. Heyman teased late last year that the series would be more faithful to the source material than the movies were. On Harry Potter, it's early days. 
We haven't even hired a writer to begin writing. It's a bit early, but hopefully it will be something that's very special, and gives us an opportunity to see the books and to enjoy a series which explores the books more deeply. And JK Rowling, who will serve as an executive producer, echoed this statement. Max's commitment to preserving the integrity of my books is important to me, and I'm looking forward to being part of this new adaptation which will allow for a degree of depth and detail only afforded by long-form television series. Good or bad? With all the facts out of the way, I also want to take this opportunity to weigh the pros and cons of the show. I've seen a wide range of opinions in the comment section below, so I thought I'd share some of my thoughts to let you know where I'm at. Pros More Harry Potter content The Harry Potter franchise has a massive fan base, and I think that I can speak for most Harry Potter fans when I say that we've been waiting for more content ever since the release of the final movie in 2011. With the announcement of a new TV show, we can now look forward to more of the magical world that we love, including new adventures, storylines, and characters. The show has the potential to explore the vast and rich Harry Potter universe, honing in on magical creatures, spells, and characters that may not have gotten much attention before. Additionally, the show may serve as a launch pad for spin-off shows, exploring different aspects of the Harry Potter universe, such as the Hogwarts founders or the wizarding world in other countries. High production value HBO is known for its high-quality productions, with shows like Game of Thrones and Westworld setting the standard for television. I think that fans can and should expect the same level of quality for the Harry Potter show. With stunning visuals, impressive special effects, and high production values, the show will be able to bring the magical world to life in a way that we have never seen before. I suspect that, with this new technology, the Harry Potter universe will feel even more real and captivating, drawing us deeper into the story. Opportunity for Character Development The show can provide an opportunity for deeper character development, exploring the motivations and backstories of beloved characters like Hermione, Ron, and Neville. Expanding on that, the show has the unique opportunity to portray the book characters in the way that they were meant to be portrayed. From book to film, many characters didn't translate particularly well, at no fault of the actor. Examples include Cho Chang, who was more confident and outspoken in the books, but depicted as timid and reserved, as well as Ginny Weasley, who was characterized as more fiery and independent in the books, but came across as more subdued in the films. A New Perspective With new actors and directors, the show may be able to provide us with a fresh perspective on the Harry Potter universe. By hitting the reset button, fans can rediscover the magic of the wizarding world and experience it in a new and exciting way. Missing Characters Another potential benefit of the show is that it could include characters that were omitted from the films. The Harry Potter books have a vast array of characters, and some of them were not included in the movies due to time constraints or other reasons. With the new TV show, there is an opportunity to explore these omitted characters and give them the attention they deserve. Including these characters can help to fill in gaps in the story and provide us with a more complete understanding of the world of Harry Potter. New Stories to Explore The show has the potential to explore new stories and characters beyond what has been covered in the books and movies. This can provide fans with fresh content and keep the franchise relevant, allowing it to continue to captivate audiences for years to come. Increased Fan Engagement The show can increase fan engagement and discussion, as fans speculate on plot points and theories, creating a sense of community. This can make the Harry Potter universe feel even more alive and vibrant, bringing fans closer together. Hogwarts Legacy With the recent successes of the new Harry Potter game Hogwarts Legacy, fans are more excited about Harry Potter than ever. I think that the show will complement the game well, allowing both to reach a higher degree of success. Alright, onto the cons. Casting Difficulties The Harry Potter franchise is known for its iconic casting, with actors like Daniel Radcliffe, Alan Rickman, Kenneth Branagh, and Rishi Griffiths, to name a few, becoming synonymous with their characters. Casting new actors for the same roles can be challenging, as fans may have difficulty accepting them in those roles. If the wrong actors are cast, then it's going to be disastrous for this Harry Potter reboot, so I'd be lying if I said I wasn't anxious about this aspect of the show. Disrupting canon, deviating from the source material. Taking creative liberties and allowing the show to explore new ideas and perspectives that are not present in the books or films may be a good thing. However, it also poses a significant risk. If the story and overall canon of the Wizarding World isn't approached delicately and methodically, then it will be disastrous. 
Canon is king, and the thought of a decade-long show that isn't in line with the movies or books is a perishing thought. Introducing new aspects to the story may also upset purists who want the show to stay true to the original material. Risk of Oversaturation While fans are excited for more content, there is a risk of oversaturating the market. In addition to the core books and films, the Harry Potter franchise has also spawned spin-off books, movies, merchandise, and theme parks. Introducing a TV show does pose the risk of diluting the brand and diminishing its value. Our Childhoods For me, Harry Potter is one of the most nostalgia-inducing media franchises. I grew up with both the books and films being released, and they were an integral part of my childhood. Part of me is excited about the new show, but another part of me feels as if it's somewhat of an affront on my childhood, endangering the sanctity of a successful media franchise that has already won my heart. Part of me feels like the story already said everything that needed to be said, and that a show may merely be an opportunity to capitalize on the popularity of the franchise rather than provide new and valuable content. However, while the books and films are beloved, they can also be seen as somewhat dated by modern standards. A new show may be able to bring a modern sensibility to the story and characters, making it more relevant and relatable to a new generation of fans. This would allow Harry Potter fans, new and old, to unite and enjoy the wizarding world together. Disappointment Introducing a new show for a media franchise as popular as Harry Potter is bound to incite some unreasonably high expectations from fans and with those high expectations, there is a large risk of disappointing them. With a high-profile franchise like Harry Potter, there is a lot of pressure on the creators and producers to deliver a high-quality show which can sometimes lead to rushed production and poor decision-making. Hopefully, the creators of the show take their time as to create the best possible product and stay true to the bones of the wizarding world. There's nothing worse than a project that gets rushed and turns into an abomination. Hogwarts Legacy was a great example of how successful something can be when there's no rush to market. And that pretty much concludes my list of pros and cons, at least for the time being. What do you guys think of the show? Are you excited? What do you think of the 2026 release date? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.